Well, uh, many stereo components do not have line fuses in them. See the size of the filament in the 20 amp? And that's meant to protect this size wire, which is number 12. And this is 14 gauge wire, and that's protected by this 15 amp fuse. And see how large that filament is? And the cord on the uh, stereo components is only 18 gauge. And see how tiny the little filament is in here? So we're going to be putting a small fuse inside the stereo component to prevent a uh, fire hazard. And it's UL listed without any overcurrent protection of any kind in it. Okay, we're going. Yep. I'll put these screws somewhere so we don't have to dig through all these other ones because some of them are close and I don't want to put the wrong one in. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, let's leave them over on this side of the table. There's no screws over here. Leave them on this side of the okay. table where I put them over here. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that, yeah. Got all these ones out. So do you see any overcurrent protection in this unit? No, I do not. No, I do not. Nope. Okay, so you got to put it right there. Yes. Okay, we so got to cut this. Yep. Yes. Now, is this polarized? Yes, it is polarized. polarized. Okay. okay. So we're going to cut this little zip tie off. Snap! Just get, cut the wire accidentally. I think Matthew. Actually, um, guess what I was working on today? What? I was working on a subwoofer. Guess yeah. where the fuse was? On the neutral side? On the neutral side, yep. I don't know why they did it that way, but that's the way it was. <laughs> if you want to, I'll, 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 take the, I'll take it off with the players. You just, you can just focus on that. Oh, okay. Do you want us to pull this out on the tip of that, yep. No, did you sign this yeah. camera it's into great. my, uh, uh... What, Dad? Don't give me a screen gap. It's just worth it. Uh, okay, pull. Go, oh, 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 okay. Cow bush. Oh, I just yeah, lost it. Got it. There it goes. Okay, it fell down in there. That's but right. But there's some uh, yeah. little right. solder right. balls are falling behind it. Yes, they did. Can you see the fires? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking so. Mm -hmm. I did see some solder balls fall down in there. Yes, I did. Say this wire is extra long. Could you just cut yeah, it and then, and then just use this on that? And no, no, because the fuse will won't be in the series. Won't be in the series. Okay. Right. Make sure there's no wire string anywhere. Right. We're gonna put we're gonna solder the wire on that first. Let's get it. Solder it on that first. No, that's oh, last. That's last. Okay. We need another fuse ball. We need another. another Right in front of me. Um, oh, the fuse block. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Our side unit. <laughs> our side unit. Okay. But then get our hands here, helping hands here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. You can always tie wrap it in or whatever, handcuff it in there. Handcuff it in there. Because that they use zip ties for handcuffs, don't they? Oh yeah, they surely do. But so not these uh, zip ties. No, not them. They gotta be they're, they're, they're the good professional ones. This way it's not gonna be in the camera. Oh okay. That's right. I can't hold it. <laughs> Can't hold it because my arm's gonna be in the way, isn't it? My arm's gonna be in the way of the camera, won't it? <laughs> Fusey. Okay, so hold it, hold it up like that. Hold, hold it down, hold it straight, like up and down like that. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And then, then oh, we gotta, I gotta hold the other part. And I'll do the other part. Oh, yeah. Okay. Try holding this still, but my hands are best. Sturdy things in the world. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I'll check the other side when we get done. Cool. That cool. Check the other side when we get done. Yeah. So let's flip it over. Oh, ooh, nice. That worked nice. out really nice. Nice. Okay. We gotta take that off, strip them, and then we don't twist them. We we twist them around this around the uh, around this the. the uh, Post. The post, yeah, but we gotta go underneath though. This, we gotta go underneath this. We gotta go underneath this right here, underneath that. So let's undo this switch. Can you unsnap the switch, sir? Yes, thank you. Yep, hang on. Let me just pull the one screw outside. That's all we need to do. Now, did you take a little tiny screwdriver to wedge that open just a little? Slide. No, we don't. No, we don't. You don't have to watch. Show you how to do this. Just do this. Pull it out. Oh, okay. That's all it takes. Okay, good. That's all it takes. It's a little bit of that. We're going to stay this. We're going to. It makes it a lot easier to try to do it that way. Don't push the screw down. Don't push it through there. Yeah, stop messing with stuff, man. You need the plug, you got the plug over there. Don't wait, but I'm trying to see it. Make sure all the strands are perfect. Okay. Yes, they did. Ouch, you know. I'm going to take some solder off of there. Yeah, off of, the, off of the old one, off the old block. Make sure you do it over the tape a little bit if you can. Over the unit there. Okay, good. Okay. Gonna try this again. Yes. Just try and draw up down this post here, nice and evenly. Now I gotta move my car. I'm gonna go to the mowing the grass now. I gotta move my car. John <laughs> mowing the grass again. Like that. 
I don't want your hands in the way, so hold alt just like that. That'll be perfect. <laughs> Nothing stuck in there. Okay. Nothing stuck. And we in there. Then we gotta redo that because we need to put the wire underneath it. No, we can. We can put it underneath it. Oh wait a minute, we can put the whole. Oh shucks. Shucks is right. Okay. I'd rather undo it from there. Yeah. It's a lot easier okay, than so to undo it from there. Okay, I'll hold the wire right there. Okay. Pull it out carefully. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, crap. Went all over yeah, it went all over the place. Right in there, hang on. Okay, hold on. I'm getting this out of bed here. We can tap it out afterward. Right right we can tap it out afterward, yeah. Right, right over the table. Right over the table. Yeah, off the floor. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna have to uh redo it. Okay, hold this on the use the pump. How about I do this? I'll hold it from the back here and I'll do this and then you can solder it. Oh. How about I do that? Okay, that'll be the best way. Yeah. Okay. Do this just like oh, perfect. Perfect, yeah. yeah. My, my fingers. Be careful in the bottom. My fingers right there, yeah. Get mouthful close to it. I can't remember. That's all right. Don't get it in my finger. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I can feel the heat from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay so. Don't wait that long. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good, doesn't yes, it? It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let me do this with the switch first. Let me get the switch out of the way here. Back in there. Put that back in place like that. And then let me put the screw in here. And then we put that back in here. And come on, baby. Don't move that for a minute. Get this up. Yeah. Oh, right. So let's tell people why UL and the Consumer Product Safety Commission should require these fuses. Well, the reason why we put these fuses in here is if one of these components short out it'll it'll heat up the cord and the cord could get very hot and uh, uh cause a fire or cause a shock hazard when you touch the outside of the case because it's metal so that's why we put these fuses in there. that's why the uh ul and the product safety commission should require these fuses you want me to hold that one you got it <laughs> Now, tools. Oh, okay. Let me keep it from turning. Is it good? It's all quicker. Cool. Yeah. Time 
it up and I'll hold it so it doesn't turn. I'll hold it so it doesn't turn. That, that stay straight? Stop. Yeah, it, it's crooked a little bit. Yeah, it's high enough I don't have to cut it. Okay, yeah, so let's get the zip tie so. yep. Oh, here's that other screw. Oh, for now you would have. Okay, I'll stick that right over here then. You know, okay, that's where that is, okay. We'll put that in. <laughs> I would say maybe tie or tie this to maybe tie this here or tie yeah, this. That's yeah. What I was okay, good. Yeah. That's in there. <laughs> so you well in the consumer product safety commission should require these fuses. Yes, they should. Yeah. And it's a basic fire. It's fire ba basic fire prevention and uh, shock shock prevention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll tie them. Tie the, even the blue one. And them all together like there maybe yeah, mm -hmm. that'll work <laughs> and just as long as you don't make them too tight you don't want to tight over tighten them because you can also pinch the wires and ruin the wires through that way yes i've seen them where they make them real tight and they ruin the wires you can't do that okay i'll do that or just snap in a few yes minutes. make sure look at it make sure it's a one half Yes, it is. Now, would you say this is Gordon Electronics quality? Yes, it is. Harman Kardon. They used to sell Harman Kardon, a lot of Harman Kardon. A lot of, they hold, sold Harman Kardon, and they served some pioneers they sold. They sold Sony. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera down and show yeah. you the UL label and the uh, fuse. fuse. Remember, not stop. You know what button to have. Here's the fuse block, and I soldered that blue wire there. There's the number on it. Yeah. 